right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start our Valentine's Day crafts. I know it seems a little weird since it's like snowing outside right now, but Valentine's Day is around the corner and I can't wait for the nicer weather. That Hi guys, and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box. And if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Now let's get started. I have to start out by saying, I know my videos have been kind of hit and miss lately, but we had the stomach bug hit our family and it has been a little bit crazy and pretty miserable. So hopefully we're all on the mend and we will be good to go from here on out. But I wanted to let you guys know that I do know and I'm sorry about that and I promise to try and definitely have everything on track going forward. So here we go guys. We're gonna use a couple of these shadow boxes from the Dollar Tree. And all I'm gonna do is pop the back out. I've heard it's really easy, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this, and then I'd like to pop the back right out. So using my handy dandy little tiny screw drivers that I have gotten from the Dollar Tree, I'm just taking those out real quick. We'll see if it's truly as easy as everybody says to push out. I don't want to break it. Oh, that's coming. There we go. Okay. Voila. So in all honesty, I had a different plan for the color of the outsides, but I'm not sure. Let's just put it this way. I have to think a second and then we'll come back to these. Okay, so I thought about it and I think I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take a sander sponge and I'm just going to start sanding because I want to get a little bit of this off of there and if I can't or it takes too much time what I'm going to do is paint it white and then go over it with the color I want. This is going to be a little harder if you wanted a wood looking or something like that like a wood color or a natural color but um, I think it would look great if you paint it a color of the decor that you're going with a color theme or for a bedroom a living room an office anything like that if you have a color theme go ahead and go with that or a complementary color. And I think it's much more worth my time to just paint it white and then paint it the color I'd like. So for my first coat to cover up the colors, I'm going to use Waverly chalk paint. You can really use any white paint. I just have a lot of this, and so I'm gonna use it. Plus, I don't really want it super shiny, so I think this will help with that. I took a couple of the Dollar Tree wooden hearts and some Waverly antique wax and I just painted them. So here's the final result on how those turned out. Next what I did is I grabbed two X's and two O's from the Dollar Tree letters that you can get and I painted them white with the Waverly chalk paint. So I went ahead and I hot glued the X and the O on the front and what I'm going to do is take some hot glue and just put it on the other side also. And I try and match it up so when I put the hot glue on, then I kind of hold it sideways so I can kind of see that they are in the same spot on both sides. If you kind of look down the very center. You just got to move kind of fast because it's hot glue. So the hearts came with some twine and I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to tie it in a loop and then I'm going to end up hot gluing it to the top. To find the top, what I'm going to do, or sorry, the middle, I'm going to hot glue it to the top in the middle. So to find the middle... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to put it along the top. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to fold it in half. So there, now I know exactly where the middle of my edge is. I'm going to leave that there and then like I said, I'm going to tie this on here. Actually, I'm going to do a couple because this is so much thinner than everything else I'm working with. And when I'm making the knot, I'm going to make it as close to the top as I possibly can. All right, so last part is I'm going to put a little hot glue on this piece and I'm going to press it in the middle. And remember, we know where our center is because of this piece of tape. Alright, so to go ahead and put it all together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it just a little bit like you can see here. I want them to be at a little bit of an angle when I glue them together. And to glue it so it's going to have a real um, sturdy hold, I'm going to use E6000 as well as hot glue. Now E6000 is going to take a little longer to dry, but I like having the E6000 to give it that sturdier, firm hold that's going to last longer. 
Also, since I'm covering a larger area, having the E6000 is going to help so that I don't have to move quite as fast with the hot glue and worry about half of it being dry and half of it not being dry. I did mine catty cornered. I just plan to have it sitting, but you could easily put them right on top of each other and then put the backing back on if you wanted them to hang on the wall. Before it dries all the way or cures all the way, I just want to wipe that extra that gooped out and that I missed off. Now it's going to need some time to fully cure and set. At the bottom here you can see that I added hashtag cruise crew and that's just in honor of Brittany Leach and her family and what they're going through with baby crew. She is a lifestyle YouTuber, just mommy life. Her and her family are really going through a lot right now but I really enjoyed watching her. She's just very down to earth which is really awesome. Here's a look at our final project. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below where you would display this decoration. I can't wait to do another craft next week. Bye-bye.